all right all right what's up I, I am pumped how's everybody doing eugene here it's good to see you base notes has announced its 17th perfume awards and i am really excited because they have nominated les ups today for for three finalists so uh, march 29th they'll be announcing winners which is amazing just to get nominated you know just to be seen by really the the online perfume database and community forum that was the first place i have come in contact with in this craziness of this perfume world i remember when the sales assistant had sprayed some blue de chanel on me and i was like what the what what is this what the heck is this and i had googled you know what is blue de chanel what is it supposed to be what does it mean you know what is it supposed to smell like and um a base notes had popped up and I had gone into base notes and the forum and I was like, I just kind of got lost in there into this rabbit hole into this kind of weird, mysterious, I don't know, Wizard of Oz sort of way. And, and, and it just kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And, you know, one thing led to another. And here we are, you know, almost 10 years later to be acknowledged and recognized by the same institution is amazing like it's it's so great how everything kind of developed and 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 came down this this road that i almost feel like was meant you know it was meant for me it was paid for me and i i i, I decided to take that road um and everything's worked out amazingly so thank you to base notes for the nominations i uh I don't know what to say, you know, other than thank you, thank you, thank you. It's amazing. It feels great. It really does. I was overwhelmed when I saw it. Wasn't expecting it at all. I don't know. Literally, I don't know anybody at Base Notes. I know the owner is Grant. I've never spoke to him, but, you know, I, I 10 years at Base Notes, you can't know who the owner is. You can't not know who the owner is. So, um, yeah, it's nice to be acknowledged and recognized for... Uh, something that I've put my heart and soul into, you know, my passion over the last three or four years and, and just like isolated myself from the world and, and worked on this, you know, from the heart, from, from love, from sharing, sharing experiences, you know, of myself and putting myself into the work. So yeah, it's really, it's really nice. It's a good feeling win or lose um, more importantly than winning or losing is hopefully to inspire other people other lovers of fragrance to do something similar um, so they can share their artwork with the world that is the most important thing because I've had a lot of great inspirations um, you know in my time um, and I've been like obsessively kind of you know in this space for just around 10 years you know 10 maybe a little bit more and um you know growing up one city over from victor wong and watching him grow zoologist has been a big inspiration for me um watching frederick mall and um allowing you know watching how he gives his perfumers creative freedom and and um admiring the love and respect and that he has for perfume you know i love listening to both of these guys talk about fragrance victor and and and, and frederick mall and, and the way they 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 express themselves and the feelings that they bring up and you know they're they're into the really creative stuff which i love you know there's more to it than just um simple elementary smells you know that are that are uninteresting um, but yeah, uh, the Guerlain Boutique, you know, I've spent a lot of time at the Guerlain Boutique studying the classics and the great Guerlains of, of yesteryear of the past. And that to me was also a huge inspiration. I would spend hours and hours and hours at the boutique and, you know, talking about perfume and meeting new people. And that's always been a great inspiration for me. So I think inspiration is the, is the takeaway here, you know, to inspire others the way I've been inspired to express uh, my truth so yeah um categories did i mention the categories yes quickly i'll i will mention the categories let me just call this up really quickly um and i don't need to rush through this i don't need to raise 
Bellum nominated for Best Indie Fragrance, which is amazing. Amazing. Bellum is getting a lot of love. A lot of people are loving this big, soft iris. Um, and that is uh, competing with Gris Charnel x -Trait by BDK. Never smelt it. Scorpio Rising, Eris Parfums. Congratulations, Barbara. Good luck. Good luck. Great fragrance. Uh, and another Antoine Lee, by the way. So it's interesting. Antoine Lee's got two. All right. He's got two finalists in the best indie fragrance. Awesome. Slate of Fern, which which makes me question, why isn't he, Antoine Lee nominated as in the best indie perfumer category if he's got two in the best indie fragrance? Something to think about. Um, Slate of Fern, Mosque Milano, not smelled it, and Vintage Suede by Cremo. I've not smelt that either, but best of luck to everybody. And next category, best new house. Best new house. What the? amazing like how how is this how is this possible we're we're like six months old you know we are a very brand new fresh house uh and then there is acro clandestine laboratories folk winds freighter perfumes congratulations to all of you and best of luck uh best independent house les upstray artiste um artiste eris parfums mosque do they mean mask mosque milano or mosque because it just says mosque here like mask from the mask milano and zoologist perfumes which is a juggernaut they're a juggernaut but good luck victor wong good luck barbara good luck everybody you know this wouldn't be as special without all the amazing competition i guess that's what makes it so great if there was the better the competition the more fulfilling this this actually feels like so yeah uh really exciting i'm really 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 excited for this um and i'm just glad to be nominated to be honest like whoever wins congratulations I, i'll be happy for everybody just the same but it's good to be um it's good to be acknowledged for work that you've done or i've had a hand in creating and, and putting out there with the help of so many other people and uh just love doing it at the same time you know to be recognized for doing something that that i love is it's a great feeling so thank you base notes thank you to everybody for your support thank you for watching um yeah say a prayer for us right i don't think it's a, a vote in i think it's base notes actually however many people they have around that they sit around and, and they decide and, and nominate. So, um, yeah, say a prayer because this was, uh, you know, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of passion went into this, you know, um, yeah, a lot of love, you know, a lot of love went into these. So, and it felt good. It felt right. Everything felt right while creating these. And that was the best part. It was created from, uh, a very special place. So thank you, everybody.